Hey there, all my pretty prop people. Welcome back to Broadway by Ghostlight and another glorious Prop Table Tuesday. I'm Mark Benani, and today I thought I'd show you another one of my little treasures I acquired at this year's annual Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS Flea Market. This one I have for you today is from a recent fascinating flop where the offstage drama was every bit as intense as the drama on stage. Go on. Yes, we're talking about Paradise Square. Now, I can make an entire hour-long video all about the controversy surrounding Paradise Square. It was produced by disgraced showman Garth Drabinsky, his first Broadway outing since being released from prison for fraud. Yeah. Then there is the bad working conditions the cast and crew went through, including not being paid for several weeks of work. Totally unacceptable. We just pay them nothing? We pay them nothing! And then there's the whole matter of the original cast album, which has been recorded and is just sitting in a vault somewhere because, you guessed it, no one has been paid for their work. So frustrating, not only for the company and the cast, but for the theater fans and the cast album collectors as well. But today's prop, in my mind at least, has to deal with one of the more insignificant for sure, but also really weird mini controversies of Paradise Square. So here is the artwork for Paradise Square. I actually really dig this artwork. If you're following me on Twitter right now, we're doing a daily poll year by year for the best Broadway artwork. And we're still in the 60s, so plenty of room to go. So make sure you're over there following me at B-Way Ghostlight. Anyways, what's the most prominent aspect of the official poster for the show? The street lamp, right? It's the center of attention for the poster, it's on the playbill. So when I went to see the show, I was more than a little surprised to see nary a street lamp in sight, which is just really weird. That is weird. And I wasn't the only person to notice and comment either. There were hanging lanterns, but no street lamps. I still think about it late at night. It haunts me. It's like I'm losing my mind. Anyways, so when I was at the flea market and I saw one of the hanging lanterns from Paradise Square, I had to have it in a sort of homage to the street lamp that never was. So here is one of the hanging lanterns from Paradise Square. So you can see a little bit closer there. You can see in this picture here, uh, where they were used on the set, they would come in and out. And again, maybe not the most exciting uh, for you guys prop, but just connecting it to the infamous non-existent street lamp is so funny. So it is made to look old. It's actually not uh, old. It's electric, obviously. Uh, it's not ready to plug in. It's got the stage uh, rigging, so I can't just plug it in, but maybe at some point I can find someone who can uh, outfit these to be plugged in. I have a couple more that are outfitted with this kind of stage plug that I can't use, obviously. So it'd be cool to be able to plug it in and hang it somewhere. Um, but it's got all the little gizmos. I'm pretty sure though that these were not real. I think these were made for the production. I, that's my guess um, and not actual old lanterns, but it's just uh, super fun little memory of a show that uh, had some issues. And it's certainly a memorable show in the annals of Broadway flop history. Did any of you see Paradise Square? What did you think? Did you notice that the whole street lamp wasn't there and did it bother you as much as it clearly bothered me? Let me know down in the comments. You know I love hearing from you guys. I've got lots more fun props from this year's flea market and other years to share with you all, so make sure you're subscribed. And if you are enjoying this series, giving it a like really, really helps me out. I really appreciate it. But until next Tuesday, this is Bravo by Ghostlight. I'm Mark Bonani. I'll see y'all next time.